Hey guys, David Patrick Green, davidpatrickgreen.com, hackhollywood.com, actorpower.com. Today I want to tell you a little secret that I learned a while ago, but not a lot of other people ever figure out, and that is who is your best friend in the business? Well, aside from me, because I'm telling you the truth about the business that nobody else will tell you, your best friend in the business is you. Yeah, that's right, yourself. And for so many reasons. There's really no one else you should trust other than yourself. And there's really no one else who actually knows what is right for you. So you need to learn to trust yourself and you need to learn to be yourself because that is what is going to separate you from the herd. You can't ask anyone else what to do because they don't know who you are. They don't know what's inside you. They only know what they see. So when you meet with an agent, a casting director, or anybody in the business and you say, hey, what do you think I should do? They're gonna give you their opinion, but it is woefully inadequate because they have no idea what's going on in here and what's going on in here, okay? So I was actually talking to a client today and that's kind of what got this whole idea started and why I felt compelled to tell you guys. Um, so this private client of mine, he lives in New York City. He's really doing well. He's starting to package projects. He's approaching producers. He's got lists of talent lined up that he is going to bring together with managers and writers and all that stuff and create projects, create shows. And, you know, one of the things I think that was holding him back initially is that he didn't understand that the secret to his success was to go as far as he could go with just being himself because that was going to be the differentiator. And he was so used to going to auditions and he actually told me this story. He was at an audition, it was an open call for a Broadway show and he was feeling pretty good and he even went through a process that we described and just as he was about to walk in, he heard the actor that was in the room before him doing something. And he totally second guessed himself. He said, I heard this other actor doing something and it occurred to me, maybe that's what I should do. I, 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 you know, maybe he gets it and I don't. And so I went into the room and I was thinking about him and I flubbed some lines and the whole thing went to hell in a handbasket and he was really not feeling good at all. And my response to him was, you need to go all the way with who you are because, you know, we think we know who we are. So it's funny, when, when I say go all the way with who you are, we all think we know what that means, right? Well, I know what my limits are, so I'm gonna go there. You have no idea what your limits are. You have no comprehension as to what your limits are. The only way you'll ever know what your limits are is if you try to go way beyond them in everything. Like every single thing that you do, you need to try and go beyond what you think you can do. And then you'll start to get an idea of what I'm talking about. Because our limits are beyond our own comprehension. People have said, Pretty much everything was impossible at some point. You know, you can't get to the bottom of the ocean. You'll never get to the moon. Um, you can't get to the top of Mount Everest because everyone tried and it's impossible. And then one by one, each of these things was ticked off. You know, people never thought that the 10 second, 100 meter uh, race would ever happen. People thought that was the, the barrier. People didn't think you could break the four minute mile. That was broken. Now it's like 340 or something. So everything is doable, everything is beatable, all boundaries are breachable, and the most important boundary for an actor to breach, and really this is the same for everyone, okay? Like if you wanna climb Mount Everest, the boundary that you need to breach the most is the one in here that allows you to believe that it's actually possible. Because without that belief, it is impossible. If you think it's impossible, it's impossible. And so as an actor, you need to start pushing the limits of who you are. 
and stop trying to copy others and start trying to just allow your instincts and your creativity to bubble through. And it's not going to happen overnight. I mean, Picasso and Rembrandt and, and um, you know, Leonardo da Vinci, they didn't reach their peak instantly. They had the potential, but they had to keep tapping into it and going further and further and further. And you only have one lifetime, so you better get on with it and start tapping into whatever your potential is and go further and further and further with it. And trust me, you are going to find a receptive audience because when you try to please everyone, you please no one. And when you are just yourself, you will pretty much please everyone. They may not like you, but they will find you captivating. They may not want to hire you or they may want to hire you, but maybe they can't hire you, but they will want to hire you because they will say that was an honest, authentic, heartfelt performance. And that's what we want here. You know, it's too bad he has red hair because, you know, uh, the wife in this one has red hair and that would look weird. Okay. You know, it'd be some form of like chrysalis thing. Um, so anyway, guys, push the boundaries of who you are. You are your own best friend in this business and any other business. You are the one you can trust, but you have to learn to believe in what you can do and keep pushing those boundaries. You know, I, the way I used to practice as an actor when I didn't, you know, when I thought, oh, I can act, but I never really emotionalized as an adult male since I was a child. I, don't, I had never cried as an adult male that I can recall, maybe one time at a funeral. And then I realized I have to do this in front of other people. And I was like, whoa, that is too much to handle. So I would just walk down the street practicing going from emotion to emotion to emotion to the height of it all. And I wouldn't even necessarily have a reason. I would just go, okay, I'm going to be as happy as I can be. Now I'm going to be as sad as I can be. Now I'm going to be as angry as I can be. Just to see where those things were and what they felt like and what kind of behavior it generated in me. So guys, find out who you are and let that come through because that is what is going to make people fall in love with you and want to work with you. I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, please like it, do what you do, um, share it, and subscribe and click that silly little bell so you get notifications of more videos like this. Okay, guys, we'll talk to you soon.